Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to create a Spigot Minecraft server on the latest version of Minecraft using the latest version of Java. So currently, the latest version of Java is Java 16. So all Minecraft 1.17 servers have to use Java 16 uh, as a minimum. And so a lot of people don't know how to install Java 16 on their computer. And you may want to have a test Minecraft server on your computer, either to play with your friends or to test your plugins out. Because I do have a you know a Minecraft development series, and uh, so since we need Java 16, I'm going to show you how to install Java 16, and then how you can make a Spigot server on 1.17. Okay, but this will apply for all future versions. By the way, if for some reason then if for some reason the next version of Minecraft requires Java 17, this will still work the same way. Okay, so you can follow these same steps no matter what. So first things first, you can see what version of Java you have already. So you can do Command Prompt on Windows, and you can go ahead and do Java dash version and as you can see mine says Java version 16.0.1 and yours may not say that it may say something else like a different version or it may say um, unrecognized command or something like that either way this won't matter I'm going to show you how to do it um, so that it'll show 16 okay so you can close this for now so let's go to the interwebs and search Java JDK 16 and we're going to download Java 16 so click this here this will, I'll leave a link for this in the in the description below. So I'm going to select Windows 64-bit installer. So download that. Click OK. Boom, boom, boom. So let that download. And then I'm going to open this. And I'll see you in a second. All right. So it's going to ask me to click yes or no to allow changes on my device. I'm going to click yes. So uh, would you like to reinstall it? I'm going to say yes because I already have it already. So I'm going to just show you how to do it. So just uh, removing the old one real quick. All right, so here's the installation window. So click next. Now you can choose where you want to put it. The default location is good. It um, doesn't really matter too much where you want it. But this is a standard location here. So C program files Java, Java 16. Great. So next, now it's going to install it. So I'll give it a second. It's just going to copy all the files into that location. And that's it. That's all you got to do. You can click next steps, and it'll take you to some more information on Java 16. But uh, that's all we need to do for that. That's how you install Java. But if you go back to a command prompt, and you don't have what I'm about to show you next. If you do Java dash version, it may still not say um, Java 16. It'll say either unrecognized or a different version um, because insta installing it is not all you need to do. You also need to set some environmental variables. So let me show you how you can do that. Okay. So you can do search up environmental variables and then set and then click edit the system environment variables on your control panel. So click environment variables. So here you can find all the environmental variables of your computer. So go down here to system variables and create a new variable called Java underscore home. And right here, you want to choose where you just installed Java 16. So click browse directory. So I'm going to go to this PC, local disk, C drive, program files, uh, Java. And there we go. We got Java 16. That's where it just said uh, it was going to be installed on our installation window. So just like Java 16, JDK 16 which stands for Java Development Kit 16, click OK. And now you're telling, um, you're setting the environmental variable Java underscore home and telling it where Java is installed. So click OK. And now that's going to create that new uh, environmental variable for you. Great. So now we need one more that we need to set. So find the path environmental variable right here, path, and just open that one up. So click new and do percent sign Java underscore home percent sign slash bin. And I'm not sure which slash that is. It might be a forward or a backslash, but do it exactly like this. Percent sign Java underscore home percent sign slash bin and click OK after you set that. OK. And now that's all you need to do. Those are the environments of variables that you need to set set to uh, set Java as the Java that your system will be using. OK, so there's one common problem that people have. They will see something like this here. Um, I think the installer does this for you. For you, you will see this uh, program files, common files, Oracle. Um, file path set within your path variable, just go ahead and remove this one. And uh, you don't need to worry about that because we just set it ourselves. Because sometimes when you have that, it'll just use a different version of Java. So it may conflict and it may put you on Java 8 or some other different version of Java. So that's a common problem I see. And I had that problem myself. So you just remove that Oracle one that's placed there for you and then uh, do the one that I just showed you how to do and then it'll you know, it'll correctly recognize it as Java 16 or whatever version you're installing okay just make sure to remove that one okay if you see it 
All right, so that's all we need. So click OK, click OK, and now we can see if it's installed now. So go to console, I mean command prompt. Now do Java dash version. And now it says Java version 16.0.1. And that's all you need to do to install the latest version of the Java JDK. Just download it, install it. Remember the file path, make the Java underscore home variable, then go to the path variable and then add it. Um, percent sign Java home, percent sign dash bin. And then that's all you need to do to install the latest version of the Java JDK. So now when you um, try and use Java on your system to run jar files or anything like that, it will be using Java 16. So now we can go ahead and install the latest version of Spigot on our system so we can make a Spigot Minecraft server, okay? So to do that, we're gonna go to spigotmc, spigotmc.org, and we're gonna find Spigot. And we're gonna be using something called Build Tools, which allows us to download the latest Spigot files and the craft bucket files and all that stuff. So, so go to Downloads and then Spigot-Build Tools. And we want to download the latest buildtools.jar file here. So make sure you click keep. If it asks you if, like it's going to probably deny it. It'll say this might be unsafe or something like that. So just find the option and click keep and it'll keep the file and it'll download that for you. Okie dokie. So we can close this for now. And let's go ahead and find where we, we have to choose where we want to install the build tools and use it. So we'll just find, we'll just create a random place on our system here. So I'm going to go to my daddy drive here and go to development and I'm going to create a new folder here folder Minecraft MC and then inside of the MC folder this is where I will have my build tool so I'm going to take where I just downloaded it from so downloads build tools I'll drag and drop it into that place here now let's just rename it to build tools I already downloaded it yesterday so it's going to be like that but there you go so now you have build tools and now you just want to open up a new command prompt to this location so copy the file path so go to PowerShell PowerShell and now we can go to we can do CD and then paste that location by right clicking that's how you paste it within PowerShell or you can use something like git bash here if you have git bash for some reason for development purposes you can do git bash here and then you'll autom automatically be in that location but if you don't have that if you're new to stuff like this and you're not a programmer you can do CD paste the path and press enter and now you're in that spot now so you can do LS to see the files here and anyway, so now to do what we need to do, we can type a simple command right here. I'll leave a link for this, by the way. So you can do Java dash jar build tools, which is the name of the file. So you can press tab to autocomplete that dash dash rev latest. And as you can see, it's going to start installing. So this will take a few minutes. It's going to take a while, like a, a bit, because uh, it just has a lot to do. So give it a couple minutes. Go you know, take a dump or something like that and then come back to it and it should be done by then. Um, if for some reason it doesn't work, it's likely because you don't have Java 16 installed correctly um, or whatever version is required. So make sure you follow the uh, the first part of this video correctly and uh, it'll work, okay? Because I tried using build tools and I was using an old version of Java and it didn't work. So I had to update it to Java 16 because Minecraft now requires Java 16. So make sure you do that, okay? So anyway, this is gonna go, this is gonna start, you know, doing everything. So I will be right back when it's done. All right, so everything is done. Looks like Spigot has been installed, except that for some reason it gave us Spigot 1.16.5, even though it tells us that the latest version that is provided by build tools is 1.17. Uh, so I guess they just might need to update it so we can that's okay though. Don't worry We can still install 1.17. I've already done this before so we just got to specify instead of latest we can tell it 1.17 explicitly, so let's go ahead and try that so um, This is okay. It'll still have this one here if you do want 1.16.5 or any other version You can follow the same process and it won't delete this one It'll keep it here for you so you can have many different versions But uh, anyway, so let's go back and let's try again. So just press up to make the command appear again. And instead of latest, just do 1.17. And now it will install 1.17. So um, that's annoying, but it's okay. See you again in a few minutes. <laughs> All right, it's finally done here. As we can see, it says spigot 1.17. And we can also look in here and it says spigot 1.17. So great, now we have spigot 1.17 so we can use it to create a Minecraft server. So let's go ahead and copy this. Control C to copy that. Oops. Control C to copy that. And now we can make a folder somewhere on our computer to install this. So I'm going to make a, well, I'm going to go back. I'm going to make a new folder called Minecraft server. 
there we go so go into that and I'm going to paste the file so Minecraft server is the folder spigo 1.17.jar so now we can go back to the Java installation wiki I'll leave a link for this as well and this will tell us what to do to install it um, for each type of system that you have so we're going to do it for Windows so just copy this then go back and uh, right here so we're going to create a new text file new text document and we're going to call this uh, start.txt and then open that notepad and then just paste the text that you copied from here so after you do that uh, first things first uh, let's go ahead and change this here so let me zoom in for you guys so change the hashes here to the amount of uh, memory you want to allocate for the server so hopefully you know a little bit about RAM RAM is the memory of your computer um, I would assume that most of you have between 4 and 8 gigabytes of RAM just on an average computer so I would say allocate between just for a test server a simple test server do 1 or 2 gigabytes I think that would be fine so I'm going to do 2 gigabytes I have 24 gigabytes of RAM on my computer um, so I can allocate more than this but you know you may want to not allocate a lot depending on how much RAM your computer has so just be wary of that okay so yeah I'm going to do 2 gigabytes so 2G and you can obviously set it to whatever you want and then after that go to file save as and do start dot bat like bat and this will create a new batch file so save you can close this now and now you have this bat file here so you can get rid of the original file delete that and you can use this to start your server but make sure that you uh, open this up again we forgot one thing so you can edit this and change it from spigot.jar to the name of the jar file so you can rename the jar file if you want to spigot.jar or you can just tell it which what the actual name is so spigot-1.17 dot jar great so save that now control s close that and now double click this and it will install java i mean the in server for you and start it up but we need to accept the the u the e u l a first so close that then go to eula.txt and click this and save it as true so save close that and then now you can start the server up successfully so let it do its thing and it should start up now there we go well you can see all the files loading here the world is being created and click allow access look at all that everything's being generated perfect uh, looks like the world is loading here so we can start up minecraft if we want to try joining in a second look as you can see here it says done for help type help so this is the so now we know our server is downloading and it started up great so let's try joining it now to see if it actually worked all right so multiplayer and to join our server we can add a new server we'll call it my test server if you're doing plugin development testing or you can call it whatever you want doesn't matter and the server address will not be an IP address you can just do localhost since it's on your computer um, it's being hosted on your computer so you type localhost so click done and then now at the bottom you can see it's it, fi it finds it 0ms because it's on your computer so there's you know gonna be perfect ping so join that now and boom looks like we're on our new server isn't that great so as you can see if our, in our server console this is where you can find all the information of your server so uh, it says Cody Simpson has logged in with the I entity ID 384 awesome so just some random information here all right, so there you go. That's how you make a simple Minecraft server using the latest version of Spigot, which is 1.17 Minecraft, and also how to use it with uh, the latest version of Java, which right now is 1.16, or excuse me, 16, JDK 16, okay? All right, so hopefully this helped you. The trickiest part was, of course, installing Java. The environmental variables part was always kind of tricky for me to understand, but so hopefully this helped you. If it did help you, feel free to leave a like. If you want to learn how to make Minecraft plugins, then check out my Minecraft spigot development series and you can make minecraft plugins for your spigot servers and uh yeah so check that out it's the most popular spigot tutorial series on the interwebs i believe and uh one other thing i want to show you before i go is uh our discord server i'll have a link for this in the description below but uh, we're almost at 30 boosts so if you have discord nitro and you want to help the server out we're so close to getting level three um, on our server boosts here so we just need four more boosts and we're going to get to level three we'll have our own vanity url and some other perks so if you have nitro feel free to join and then boost the server if you if you're already on the server and you have nitro feel free to join and you can get nitro for free by the way by going to the epic Games store 
and you can claim it there. So check that out um, as of this recording, at least. So anyway, do that if you want to. There's a link for the Discord server in the description below. So you can join, ask for help, get some friends, whatever you want to do. Join the community and yeah. Anyway, so that's it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe and peace.